Hey everybody, Joy here. It's Saturday afternoon, October 17, 2020, and this is a magical date. You know why? Do you remember three months ago, I sold our Honda. We sold our house in Edmond, and I had a 2008 Honda Accord that we kept at that house. So when Jerry and I drove up there together, I would have a car to drive. It was like brand spanking new, had very few miles on it. And we sold it. And the lady that bought it was so excited at how good a shape it was in, she actually cried. And she gave us a cashier's check. And I was there, Jerry was here, there was no way to get it to our bank. At that time, we didn't know about that phone thing where you could take pictures of stuff like that. We've got it since, but we didn't have it then. So I simply, as I always did, thank God, stamped the back of it for deposit only and signed my name to it and mailed it to our bank. This is three months later and our bank still hasn't gotten it. Nobody else has gotten it. It hasn't been cashed. It's just disappeared. It's probably with all of those ballots in one of those dumpsters the mailman can keep on dumping the, the ballots into. What the heck is that about? So, today, three months later, and the bank that the cashier's check was written on made us wait 90 days before they would issue us another payment. So, finally, finally, and it would have been a good, great time to get it because we're getting ready to take our vacation that's now been canceled. But um, it would have been a great time to get the money, wouldn't it? And me getting ready to buy that machine. Oh my gosh, what a perfect time for that. So anyway, she said she would go to her bank today and get that. I don't think you can go to a bank on Saturday, though. Maybe on um, Monday she'll go. So I'm going to get that money for selling my Honda, finally. <laughs> Thank goodness. So, yeah, yeah. This morning I was telling you all about our vacation, how I was going to see Becky, and how excited I was, and how I made her a special hostess gift. You want to see what I made her since we're not going? <laughs> she can say, thank God we're not coming. <laughs> I'll show you what I made her. I watch YouTube videos a lot, as you know. Usually music. A lot of times I'll watch Jean Robertson. Jeannie Robertson's always on on Saturday, and I watch her. And I watch quilting videos, and I watch sewing videos, and make my own videos. <laughs> so, I had a video on. It's probably Becky. But you know how when you're watching videos, the video will get done, and I'm over here, and the computer's over there, and all of a sudden, somebody else will come up? Well, this shabby lady, she's not shabby. <laughs> oh, and I'm not crying. I just put eye drops in my eyes, you guys. Um... I think it's called Shabby Fabrics. She's a real pretty blonde lady, and she was doing a tutorial. And you know, I was wanting to take something to Becky because we were going to stay at her house, and she already had those placemats that I made. Oh, you want to see one now that it's done? Let me show you one that's done. Yeah. Here's one that is done. Isn't it cute? But look at how I finished the edges. I didn't want to mess with doing a binding. And I could not sew it on and turn it because I quilted the back to it, right? So I just did one of my decorative stitches all along the edges. Isn't that nice? I'll show it to you on the back because you can see better what the stitch looks like. So that's what I did. Now this placemat's about half the size of the placemats that I make. It is really tiny. <laughs> So, I don't know. They're still cute, and I still like them. Okay, so I'll show you what the Shabby Fabrics lady did. She was doing two different things. She was doing these little bowl cozies, which I would absolutely love, and I'm going to order the things for those. Because there's these things that I make a lot of times in my microwave. If I was downstairs, I'd get one out and show it to you. But it's some kind of a Chinese dish. And it's got like spaghetti noodles in it and then it's got vegetables and it's just vegetables and these noodles and it's kind of a Chinese thing and you put it in a bowl and you put it in the microwave and you heat it up and it's just it's a wonderful lunch and it's really good but the bowl is so hot that you have to have two pot holders to get it out well these bowl cozy things are things that your bowls it's like a big cereal bowl and it fits down in it and so it's to put in and out of the microwave so you don't burn your hands I didn't have time to order the stuff to make those for Becky. 
So the other thing she was making was dish drainers. And she was talking about how at Christmas time she uses her special Christmas dinnerware. Her fancy dishes that have the gold around them and you can't put those in the dishwasher. So she said she washes them by hand and she puts them on a dish drainer on the side of her sink. And so she made these dish drainers and I just think they're the cutest thing. Hers were smaller. So I actually went downstairs and measured next to my sink because I've got one I bought from Walmart, goodness, two, three years ago. It's been there all this time. I wash it and put it back, wash it and put it back. And it's too small. And I have always thought, I wish that was bigger. I wish that was bigger. So I made these the size I wish they were for my sink, not knowing what Becky's is, but you know, Becky lives in a normal house. I figure she has a normal sink. <laughs> Becky, you can tell me. So anyway, I think this is so cool. And so I made her this one, and look at what it says. Can you read it? It says joy on it. <laughs> so it's a Christmas dish drainer that you put by your sink, and so then you wash your dishes, and then you just put them up there to drain. Is that cool? And so I made her one for Christmas time, and I made her one for Thanksgiving. See? There's the back, and there's the front, and there's this stuff you use to put in them. Let me see if I can show you what it is. You use this stuff to put inside them, and it's a spongy, it's a spongy, squishy thing. And it's iron on on this side and it's iron on on this side. So the fabric is totally ironed on on both sides. Isn't that cool? This is called, if I remember right, I think it's called Bosal. B-O-S-A-L. I'll put a link below because they sell it at Amazon. So I'll put an affiliate link below. And it's called Inner Form. Inner Form. And it's self-adhesive on both sides. And I cut these two pieces off of it and there's still this much left on this particular piece. Okay? So, that's what I made. And so, since I'm not going to go see Becky, I guess I'm just going to have to keep them for myself. <laughs> if we do go see Becky later, <laughs> well, and she can tell me, dear Lord, I'm glad you didn't come. I don't want those. <laughs> okay. So, I, don't you wish, you, you know, I wish I knew, you know, I'd make some for my kids, my grandkids, you know, the ones that still speak to us, and um, I don't know if they'd like them or hate them or what, but anyway, people are so different, and what you think is really cool, somebody else might think is just a total waste of fabric. <laughs> okay, so, I told you, I made you a video this morning. It's actually all uploaded, but I'm going to delete it because I was telling you all about the vacation that we're not taking now. Jerry and I went to town to go to lunch. He, we had run out of cat litter, and so he wanted to go, town, go to town and get cat litter before we left Monday on our vacation. And so we decided I would go with him and we ate at the Mexican restaurant next door. So, just as we got out of the restaurant and we got back in our car with cat litter from Dollar General, which is next door to the restaurant, my phone made its little sound, and I looked at it, and it was our granddaughter-in-law saying that she and the baby were sick, and they'd been sick for a couple days, and she was feeling worse by the hour. She doesn't know what they have. I mean, it could be a cold, it could be allergies, it could be who knows what. But, you know, when people are sick, they don't need their grandparents coming to visit. And even though John is feeling good right now, you know, by the time we arrived, it could have hit him and he could feel like crap. So we decided it was just kind of a sign. Uh, Jerry's doctor has ordered the PT for him, as you know, and he went yesterday for the first time and he said he feels better already. And he's supposed to go three times a week. Well, of course, we canceled all next week because of our trip. So now he's going to go ahead and go all next week. So maybe later in the year we'll get to go. Um, by then, maybe he'll feel, you know, completely well. He said the exercises seem to help already. 
So thank you so much, all of you who told me that you took the exercises and they really helped you. I read every one of those posts to Jerry. Okay, so that was a sad thing. That was a sad thing because I, I spent all day yesterday going through the clothes in my closet. I tried on and tried on and tried on and oh, let's try this with this and let's try these pants with this top and let's try these jeans with this blouse and let's try this topper with this dress and hung them all up in the laundry room. I had all my stockings. You don't have to wear the support hose. I had all my support hose and all my underwear and everything all lined up and I'd gone through all my jewelry and pulled out the jewelry to go with each outfit when we went to church and everything. So it's a disappointment for sure. Plus, I really, really was looking forward to seeing Becky and, and of course, our grandkids. But, you know, with the pandemic going on and somebody calls and says we're sick and we don't know what we have, you know, you, you just got to back up and make new plans. So, came back home. Came back home from the restaurant in Dollar General. And guess what was waiting for me in my garage? I had a box, I actually had three boxes in my garage. Let me see, three boxes. I know what two of them were. The third one was something boring that I didn't care about. I don't remember, because I didn't even open it. <laughs> but two of them were for me. And one of them was a surprise, and it said something about being the queen on the cover of it. And I said, Jerry, Amazon never sends you things that say being a queen or be like a queen or feel like a queen or whatever it was. Did you want to see what was in my box? It was a super, super surprise. There's a card in it. Make sure there's no addresses showing here. A note from Pat, my precious subscriber, Pat. Joy, just a little something for you, your friend, Pat. I just squealed. I just squealed. When I opened the box and I saw what she sent me, you're like, show it to us, Joy, show it to us, and shut up. Okay, where is it? <laughs> this is one of three. This is what was in the box. Purple Joy Hangers. Now, I, somebody had told me about these huggable hangers. And I had looked it up, but it didn't say anything about being joy hangers. It just said huggable hangers, and they were called HH hangers or something. And I thought, well, they're, they're not the same, and I only want the joy hangers. Those are the ones I really like the curve of. Well, guess what? These are Joy Mangano original huggable hangers. And she sent me three sets of the purple. Let me cut the tape, and I'll show you. I don't have anything to hang on it though. I have no clothing up here. I'm supposed to be cleaning this room. I don't know if it's ever gonna get done. Okay, so here it is. No bumps, no lumps, no divots, and my shoulders just happen to be, I wonder if I held this up to my shoulder drawing. I'm right here, oh my gosh. You know how I trace around my shoulders and I have the picture and I have it over here on my table? Same exact shape as this. Same exact shape. Same shoulder slope. No wonder I love them so much. Plus they're that felty stuff. So, if any of you are like me and you thought you couldn't get the joy hangers anymore, now they don't say, yeah they do, they do still say joy. I don't know why they didn't show that when I looked them up on home shopping or wherever it was. Um, I never could find out that they said joy but they definitely are the same hangers, and I'm pretty sure it's that home shopping channel. I never go there, so, and, and there's another one, QVC, but I think it's the other one. So, she sent me three of these, and I love them, and I love them, and I love them, and I'm so excited. You know, if you got these in like 10 different colors, you could organize your closet just by color codes. I worked with the man one time. His name, he was a, a black man from Africa. And his name was Joe Adewi, A-D-E-W-U-Y-I, something like that. Joe Adewi. And he and I worked together on doing this color coding system with all of the filing where we worked back then. Color coding. Love them. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Pat. I just, I can't even say how much I appreciate the thought and the time and the effort. I'm just... 
So I'm very, very thankful. Okay, then I got another card. <laughs> another card uh, that was sent to me um, thanking me for the patterns that I sent. Joy, thanking you for all you teach on the YouTube channel. Isn't that nice? And so this lady's name was Carol. Hugs to you and thank you. So I keep all the cards. I'm so very thankful when somebody thinks of me and does something nice. It's, it really, really makes up for the opposite of that that happens in my life at times. <laughs> so now you want to see what I ordered for myself and I got today. You remember the shabby lady? <laughs> Bless her heart. I don't know her name at all, you guys. <laughs> And she's not shabby at all. <laughs> I know Becky's screaming at me, Joy, it's this, it's this, it's this. <laughs> I think it should, I'll put a link below to it too, to the video where I learned to make those, those drainer things and those bowl things. I'll put a link below to it too, okay? So because I was watching her, I looked down in the description box under her video, it's a YouTube video, and I looked under it to see if I could find that, um, the stuffing stuff. I wanted to see what kind of stuff she used. Because at the time, I didn't realize it was the same as something I already had. I had ordered this from Missouri Star Quilt Company a long time back to make a tote out of some, or something. And so when I looked down there and I saw the link to it and I looked it up, I went, Oh, I already have some of that. <laughs> but also, underneath her video, she had her link to this, and I'll put my link to it. I have an affiliate link to this too, or I can. You can order it from her, you can, I didn't order it from her, um, because it wasn't the exact same one. Hers wasn't the exact same one, it was different. Different color, or I don't even remember. So anyway, let me show you it. This is a fun, 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 fun thing. A fun, fun thing. And it comes in, it's supposed to come in several colors, but I really could only find it in one color in this particular configuration. And I actually bought this to go on our vacation because I'm taking, you know, I was taking clothes and some of them are linen, some of them are cotton, all my blouses are cotton, and I thought it would just be so easy to just iron them on the bed in the hotel if I had this, and it's portable. It's just awesome. You won't believe it when you see it. Ah! Come out. Come out. Come out wherever you are. Look. Look. It has a little plastic bag. <laughs> Look at this. This is what sold me. This is what sold me. This is how portable it is. It's like a purse. I mean, you could like take it in a restaurant and iron the tablecloth. I mean, how cool is that? I just love it. And obviously it's not heavy. I couldn't hold it up in the air. I would say it's five pounds. Oh, just awesome. So, let me see if I can figure out how you open it. Oh, look. You just like, how did it let go? You just, what do you do? Lift that up, push that in, pull this out. Hmm. Look at underneath. See how three of the feet are gray and one of them's white. Now that may be the way it's supposed to be, but I don't know. How the heck do you open you? It opened once. Push, pull. Well, I'll have to... Oh, there, it just pulled out. Okay, you pull it out. Pull out. That one pulled out. This one doesn't pull out. Oh, pull hard. Pull hard. You pull them like this. See? Like that. You pull them. So they go in and you just pull out. Can you see pull out action? Pull out. <laughs> I just love this. It's like a little purse. Oh my god, this is so cute. Look at it. Here's the little baby iron. <laughs> look. And look how it's pointed on both ends. That's to help you when you're doing quilt blocks so you don't have that big flat thing on this other end and you're trying to iron the points and then this end is smashing them all the wrong way. So it's pointy and pointy. You can see it's a steam iron. Ah, I just think this is the cutest thing. Okay, so here's the plug-in. So you plug this in. 
this is the base of it and here's the plug you plug it in and then you just put this on it it looks like it goes on this end you just set that on it like that and then when you want to use it you pick it up and you go and you just go oh hello let me iron your blouse see how awesome and if it was like on a hanger you could just like push the steam button i think this is the cutest invention ever I really do. That is just so cute. Can you see here? That's the innards. That's the outards. Look, it has little wheels. This is cute. I just love Probably all of you are saying, Joy, we've had one of those for five years. You're so far behind. I probably am. All right, let's put this back on and play like we're going on a vacation. Oh my gosh, I am so ready. <laughs> Thank you. Are you going to tell us what it is, Joy? I might. <laughs> Here's what it is. I'll show you the box. And of course, I will put a link below. I think everybody needs one of those. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen. During use, please return iron to power base when not ironing to maintain selected temperature. Oh, of course. Okay, that's it. Now, like I said, there was a third box, but it, it didn't have anything in it. <laughs> I wanted to see. So this is my two surprises from today. This and my huggable hangers. How exciting. I'm excited. <laughs> I feel like I could be one of those vacuum, door-to-door -door vacuum cleaner salesmen <laughs> and sell these. <laughs> How cute. And I could actually carry it. Oh my gosh. Okay. I don't guess there's anything else I need to tell you. Our vacation's canceled. It's okay. I missed my pumpkin pants, but you know, I don't know what he's sick with. Um, I can't take a chance on getting sick, and Jerry's already got pain in his back, and my grandson will probably be next to get it, and so, you know, it's just not a good time to have your grandparents come. And Becky was getting me all set up at all brands to look at that tin needle. She said that there's a traveling um, fixer man that actually travels many, many miles. She thought he would come here. She said that he'd just been to um, some other state. I don't remember what one she said but he travels to your home. I mean, it's getting to where these machines are so heavy, there is no way they can expect us to carry them into a shop. All right, my friends, I'm gonna let you go for now, but I'm sure I'll be back soon since I'm staying in town. I'm hoping I get to be with Terry on Monday. We had um, tentative plans to get together on Monday the 19th, but that was the day we were leaving, so we'll see how that turns out. Y'all have a fabulous, blessed Sunday, and I'll be back soon. Bye for now.